and this is another one of my water operated clocks it's um, running with a pump in the bottom of a tube the tube runs down to the base on the floor which you can't see but the uh, the pumps pumping water up into the header tank which is at the top of the glass tube and the water is pouring from the header tank into the glass tube at a very constant rate which is metered with a needle valve um, and in the glass tube is an automatic siphon so that as the glass tube fills it gets to the top of the siphon and then the siphon as now is emptying the tube and that process happens by design at a very accurate once a minute so it's now refilling um, then the surface of the water is afloat um, with a push rod and the push rod comes up through the tank and through the mechanism of the clock in fact and operates um, a lever arm which you can see the counterbalance weight is the blue weight on the left hand side and from that at a leverage of um, 10 to 1 reduction operates a 60 tooth ratchet wheel which you can see behind the face and all the rest is clock gears so it's pretty straightforward from there yeah this is a close-up of that mechanism showing the push rod the bell crank and the counterbalance weight all driving the 60 tooth ratchet wheel at uh, the required once per minute cycle so you can see it's reaching the top of its stroke now and the siphon starts and it drops and then the water level reaches the bottom now the ratchet wheel drive rod has just dropped onto the another tooth and it starts the cycle again and this is all timed at precisely once per minute governed by the needle valve in the top of the header tank